Well, yesterday I got out and I gathered up my moringa, but it didn't really show what I did with it, what I do with it. So I figured today I'll show you. Yesterday I come in, I put, I filled my dehydrator here up with the leaves. These here I had hanging since yesterday. Uh, so they're a little welded, but that's okay. If it be dry. Um, I loaded my dehydrator this morning with the dry ones. I'm trying to get this last bit in here so it'll be dry tomorrow. It takes about a day overnight. You don't have to be particular about how you get them in here. Just try to get them out. Scatter them out. I like the scissors. You ain't trying to pop them off. It's a little easier. Just try to scatter them in here evenly. You can leave the stem on them or some of the smaller stems. It'll make it easier coming off later. Basically, get all you can get in there because it takes up a lot of room. Depending on how much you got, how many times you got to do this. You don't really want to leave them hanging much more than overnight. See, they already started wilting. wilting. We'll let that dry till tomorrow, and then I'll get them off. Get my tea out from yesterday, finished drinking it. It's a little more bitter when it's cold. Now some of this Moringa, I actually put in a pack, washed it up, put it in a Ziploc, put it in the refrigerator. I can use it for the next couple days. Just eat it like it is. It's good to eat just like it is. nutrition. And I'll eat that the next few days. It'll stay fairly fresh in that bag once you wash it put it in the refrigerator. Keep it off each other. Uh, kind of helps with the aeration of it. All right, we gotta get all this. All this is left inside in this on this one. So. Thank you. 
Pack attack. Normally you would do this two or three times a year. You go out there and gather up a batch, dehydrate it. It helps the tree, kind of prune the tree too, so. If you top the tree on the Moringa fairly early, it'll grow a better trunk later down the road. I didn't do that this year. I didn't get out and cut any, get any extra. But you can do this a couple times a year. Have it stored up ready for the winter when you don't have it fresh. If you dehydrate it, you can add it to your salads, to your tea. Uh, add it about anything, it's just a dry powder then. Do it fresh. Right, now that I got the Moringa in the dehydrator, I want to show you the one I got out this morning. It's very dry, but it still has a nice, pretty green tint. You haven't lost any of the nutrients. Now, when this one here gets done tomorrow, I'll mix it all in. Um, and I'll run it through the blender, make a powder. Now, when you're, when you're getting this out of the dehydrator, Try not to leave any big stems. These little ones may might not be so too bad. As long as they'll crumble up pretty good. But if you leave them very big, they'll they're pretty tough. So you try to get the stems out. And, uh, make your powder and a scoop of scoop it on your salad. Tea. Just uh, take a spoonful, teaspoon day or so. Keep up your nutrition.